everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm super excited to be collaborating with Rimmel London on their Wow Wings campaign. Today I'm going to be showing you how to create an attainable look and an edgy look using the Wow Wings mascara and also the Magnifies Wow Edition palette, which has some stunning colors on it. So the main focus today is going to be eyes. We're going to be working on really gorgeous, thick, voluminous lashes, and then some edgy eyeshadow. If the blue is a little bit too much for you, don't worry, there will be an attainable version too. Let's not waste any time chatting and get straight into the tutorial. So to start off, I'm creating a flawless base using the Lasting Finish Foundation. I'm going to just apply this all over my face and bounce in with a beauty blender. This is actually a really gorgeous medium coverage foundation, but it's also buildable. So I'm applying two layers of this to get a super flawless base. Whenever I'm using colors on the eyes, I do like my skin to be a super blank canvas. So after I apply that foundation, I'm going to go in with the matching concealer in the shade light, and I'm going to highlight the central portions of my face. So I'm applying this underneath my eyes, in the middle of my forehead, nose, top lip, chin, all the usual places, and I'm going to blend that in with my sponge as well. And this will just give me that kind of highlighted effect and also some extra coverage. And you'll see I'm also using it on my eyelids. It's great for canceling out my pigmentation and also works as a really nice eyeshadow base too. Then I'm going to set that using the Match Perfection Loose Powder. I'm going to apply that quite heavily underneath my eyes because I really want that under eye to be flawless for when we put on the colored eyeshadow and I'm going to also apply it to the center of portions of my face with the sponge, and then using a fluffy brush, just brush away any excess and set the rest of my face. Now we're going into the Magnifies Wow Edition palette. Look at those shades, aren't they gorgeous? I'm starting with this like rusty, burnt red shade, and I'm applying that all over the lid using a flat brush. So I'm just packing that on and slowly building up the shape, going right up to my crease, and then kind of winging it out on the edge. Just take your time building up the shape that you want. I always go back in with a fluffy brush to take away the harshness of the edges, so packing on the colour and then blending it out. Now I'm using a mixture of these two lighter shades on the edges just to blend it out and make sure it's nice and soft and seamless. And now I'm wetting a flat brush and I'm going into that coppery gold shade which is so gorgeous and I'm applying that to the inner half of my eyelid. So I'm just packing that on to create a kind of like sunset vibe. See the way the burnt orange and the red just like mold into each other beautifully? Oh, I love it. Then I'm just using these two light shades to highlight my inner corner. Make sure it's all nicely blended and you're pretty much good to go. I'm also using a wet angle brush in this charcoal shade and just stamping that into my lash line to create some definition and just a little bit of thickness to the lash line. This look is all about voluminous, long, separated, flared out lashes. And to do that, we're going to use the Scandalize Wow Wings Mascara. This brush is so interesting. You can see it has one flared side and one curvy side. So you start off with the flared side to really load up the lashes. You just wanna pop on lots and coat every single lash. Then I flip the brush over and I use the curved side to separate them, flare them out. The formula is super long lasting too. Doesn't flake, doesn't smudge, but it is easy to remove, which is great. Then just to finish up the face, I'm using this contour shade from the Kate palette, and I'm applying that underneath my cheekbones, under my jawline, across my forehead. You know the drill, same old, same old contouring places. And then I'm just going to apply a little bit of the blush to the front of my cheeks. Not too much, I don't want this to be a super blushy look. I want it to be all focused on the eyes. Then I'm adding a nude lip because I don't want to take the focus off the eyes. This is a gorgeous shade from the Stay Matte range. It's just the perfect nude. It lasts really well. You have some working time with it, but then it dries down matte, so it lasts ages. And of course, we can't forget to highlight. I'm using a more subtle highlight for the attainable look. I'm just popping that on the tops of the cheekbones, above the eyebrows, down the nose, top of the lip. And that is the more wearable, attainable look using this palette and mascara. So now we're gonna amp it up a little bit using a little bit more color and some extra mascara. Firstly, I'm using the Magnifies Double Ended Stick. It's got a Kajal pencil on one side, shadow on the other. I'm using the blue Kajal to line my waterline. And this is going to instantly amp up the look, but we're gonna take it even further. So just popping that all along the waterline, not on the tight line, just the waterline. And then I'm going to start dragging that underneath the eye as well. And this is how we're going to start creating that smoky colored lash line. You also want to take it out from the corner of your eye and wing it upwards, pulling it back then into the top lash line. 
Now going back into the eyeshadow palette and taking the light blue and using that on the inner half of the eye to start blending out that blue. We want it to be really smoky and grungy. Just take your time blending this and then I'm going to go into the more vibrant blue shade and use that to smoke out the lower lash line even further to pull out that blue smoky wing and pulling that back in again to the lash line. You can see we don't want any like sharp lines. We do want it to be defined, but we're using a pencil brush to really drag and pull and smoke out that color. Now I'm taking this charcoal gray shade and I'm using that to smoke up the eyelid. I'm taking that all across the outer V and you can see I'm pulling it out into that wing, then taking it a tiny bit into the crease and across the lash line. It really does create a V shape on the end. So I'm firstly placing down the color and then I'm going back in and blending. So place down your color, blend, place the color, blend. It's honestly the best way to get that really soft, really well worked blend. I'm also using a little bit of the rusty and goldy shades to make sure I've got a perfect blend on the top of the shadow too. I don't often layer mascara once it's already dry because not a lot of formulas are good at this, but I find this mascara is really, really good at layering. So I'm just amping up that volume, getting those super gorgeous, luscious, thick lashes. I think this just really finishes off the look perfectly. Then just to finish off the face, I'm amping up my contour. I'm just kind of like stamping underneath the cheekbone to really make the face look nice and sculpted and edgy. And of course, I'm also going to highlight some more using this golden bronze shade. I'm just going to really make that highlight stand out. I like to kind of massage the brush into the cheek. You can see it's going in circular motions to really blend it and fuse it into the skin. And I'm taking that all across those high points of my face, just making it such a stunning, striking highlight. Also down the nose, on the top lip, you know how it is. Finally, I'm taking some more of that blue eyeshadow and just making sure I have that wing super flicked out and perfectly blended. So that's all I have for you today, guys. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial that showed you an attainable version and an edgy version of this look. I really enjoyed recreating it because this is so similar to one of the looks that I wore at Splendor in the Grass, which is a festival here in Australia. So I felt really like back in festival mode, putting on the blue liner and it makes me all excited and feeling like my creative juices are flowing again. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the bell button if you wanna see more from me. And I'm also over on Instagram at Michelle Crossan underscore if you wanna see more from me every day. But that's all I have for you today, guys. Thank you so much for watching and I'll talk to you again really, really soon.